You know, I, I couldn't get a good picture of a deer. I wanted, but I couldn't. They just, sorry. Talk to National Geographic. I ain't doing it. E. Now that's obvious. I said the most obvious. There's a nice picture of an elephant. We went, when I was, one time we went to see the IMAX. They had the thing about the elephants. Oh, my gosh. Cool. F. No. Uh, I started with fish. I didn't do frog. I should have. What kind of fish? Parrot. Parrot fish. What's that? I put it in because it was crazy looking. You ever seen one of them? I, Chris, if you caught one of that, wouldn't you throw it back? You wouldn't know what it was. That's called a mola fish. M-O-L-A. Kind of like cola with an M. What's that? Lionfish. Very good. You could, he never tells the truth. He's a lionfish. Okay. Uh. Well, Arctic fox, very good. Red fox. I, I wanted to do a before and after. Well, like one on the highway is the after, and this is the before, but I thought you might get grossed out by that. G, giraffe, goat. I already did ape. Stop with the monkeys. Let's see what we have for G. Goose. You know, that's the best picture. I hate those kind of geese. They drive me nuts, but that's... That's a cute picture. Goat, that's not your typical goat, but that's a nice-looking goat. I, that's actually a mountain goat. I love the background. That's a good picture. And a giraffe. I couldn't get them all on the screen, so I just had to kind of. Okay. H, hippo and horse. Horse, hippo. Okay. Here... Here we're going to do more of an experiment part. You all have been trying to help me out. I've been given the letter of an alphabet of the alphabet, and you've been yelling out the animal starts with the corresponding letter, right? You've been doing it because you've been thinking about it. Okay. Let's all of a sudden say that animal names are bad words. We don't want to say it anymore. So I don't want anyone to say any animal names. They're bad. It's cursing. I don't want to hear it. No animal names. Okay? Don't even think it. Shame on you. You couldn't help it, could you? You couldn't help it. I put up the initial, and you tried not to, and you still thought zebra. Okay, this zebra here is mad because I said his name was a bad word. But I said, you think he's laughing because I'm funny. Okay. I said Z, told you not to think of an animal, and you did it anyways. Now, I want you to think about this. You heard one little initial and thought of a bad word that happened to be zebra. <clears throat> bad words are bad words when you... Shout them, say them, whisper them. I, I know a lot of good Christian people that really drive me nuts when they think, well, it's a bad word and I never say it. But here, let me whisper in your ear. What the heck is that? What, is God deaf? I mean, what? People think that way, and I, I'm like, I don't get it. If it's bad to shout it and say it, why would it not be bad to whisper it? Spell it. There's another one that blows up. God can't spell here. I'll spell this bad. What is that? I got a dog that can spell. We'd say, let's take the dog for a W-A-L. He'd run to the door. Dogs can spell. God can spell too. Think them. Think them. You got it. Text them. Oh, that hurts the front row a lot, doesn't it? This is the text generation. I know. I'm sure you don't, but you're a texter. Abbreviate them. Listen, this drives me nuts because when we say Z, we all thought zebra. And I don't want to think bad words, so I don't want you to give me the initials for it. I don't, I don't want any part of that. I don't want that in my head. You ever, yeah, I went to the movies, and they said this one bad word 72 times. Well, first of all, why'd you go? Second of all, why didn't you walk out? Number three, why are you counting? What's wrong with you? 
even if you give just the first initial, Z, you did it again. Hey, I just said Z. You're the one with the dirty mind. <clears throat> Finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honorable, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of good report, if there be any virtue, if there be any praise, think on these things. Gigo. Chris, what's that mean? What's gigo mean? You know. Dude, garbage in, garbage out. It's a computer phrase. We're talking about the brain being a computer. This is one way the brain's like a computer. Garbage in, garbage out. If I put garbage in my head all day long, garbage is going to come out. It's just how it works. You can't put garbage in. And expect something good to come out. The Bible talks about you ain't going to get a good fruit off a bad tree. That's Gigo. Chris already told us. It's a computer term, right? Right? Yeah. Used to be back when I was a boy. <clears throat> you offspring of vipers, this is Christ. How can you, being evil, speak good things? For out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. What you put in here. Sorry, what you put in here comes out here. You can't help it. It just happens. It's Christ saying that, not me. We need to pay attention to some things. The friends that we hang around and the speech that they use. The jokes that we tell. The jokes that we listen to. That's tough. Because sometimes you don't know it's a joke you shouldn't hear until they say the punchline. And then you've got to react by saying, dude, don't tell me stuff like that. I don't want to hear it. The music we listen to, that's a tough one. The radio stations, those two don't necessarily go hand in hand. Because you can listen to music that's not on the radio. And you can be on a radio station that's not playing music. There's some really raunchy stuff out there that I've heard about. Websites that we visit, the books we read, the magazines we read, the front row probably doesn't even know what a magazine is now that they're extinct, <sighs> television shows we watch, television stations we watch, you could get movie channels that only show gay stuff, and when I found that out, it made me nauseous. Movies that we watch. Anything else that's not true, honorable, just, pure, lovely, and so on. 